What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel where today we are doing a Toon Squid tutorial on character rigging. So we are going to turn this character into a puppet that we can manipulate and just use keyframe animations. So yeah, let's just get started. First thing you want to do obviously is create your character. When you do that, you want to draw each part on its own separate layer down here. These are animation layers, don't get them confused with drawing layers. Just use the layers in a timeline and you'll be fine. You can use the drawing layers if you know what you're doing. I'm just saying, don't get confused and put like all your different parts up here in drawing layers because that's not gonna work. Anyways, so let's say you are to this part, you've got all your parts on their own layers, but you've got them named accordingly. By the way, to rename something, you just tap the layer and rename. You can do this if you want. For organizational purposes, you can group them all into a group you do that by first creating a group and then you just swipe to the right on all the parts you want to drag and then you just click and drag them to the folder so let's say you are to this part you've got your character created now what now you want to go through each one of these parts and you want to adjust the pivot point so the pivot point is this gray icon right here by default it's going to be in the center of each one of your transforms and you edit it by tapping on it and selecting enable pivot editing and now you can move it around wherever you want you want to move it to the part that is connected to that way when you rotate it it looks natural or at least more natural than if it was like up here right so you want to put it where it's connected other than your root part like the hips or your torso that doesn't really matter we can actually put this up here in the middle and that's fine but for everything else, like if we look at the neck, it's down here where the torso is. If we look at the arm, can't see it, we need to zoom in, there it is. It's like where the shoulder is. Lower arm is where the elbow is. I think you get it. So go through and do that for each one of your parts. If we look at the leg, it should be up there. And just test out the rotations of the parts and see how it looks. And just make sure it looks good. Once you get your pivots where they need to be. I recommend that you select the pivot again and disable pivot editing. That way you don't accidentally move one. So now it is time to rig the character. It's actually really easy to do. All we're gonna do is we're gonna open our transform hierarchy by clicking this icon right here. To the left is all your different layers and to the right is the hierarchy. And the hierarchy is where you're going to tell which parts are parents and which parts are children. So let me just show you, it's not complicated. So you just wanna start with the root. The root is the hips or the torso. So I'm gonna drag that in first. And what are children of the torso? It's gonna be that leg, that arm, and the neck. So we wanna make each one of those children of the torso. So both the legs, let's get the upper, not lower leg, upper leg left, oops. And you want to drag it on top of what you want the parent to be. Upper leg right, again, release it on top of torso. Upper arm right, on top of torso. Upper arm left, on top of torso. Neck, on top of torso. So these are all children of torso. All right, so let's start with our neck. What comes after the neck? The head. So drag the head as a child of the neck, upper arm left, lower arm left, lower arm right, upper arm right, lower arm right, hand right, lower arm left, hand left, upper leg right, lower leg right, lower leg left, foot left, lower leg right, foot right. Okay, and now our character is rigged. Now we can move him however we want, and the children of the parents will follow them, meaning that your arms will stay together when you move one of them. So we can move him around however we want, and then now we can animate him by just keyframing. I'll show y'all an example of that. It's not going to be a good example. He's just going to be flapping his arms. Make sure we are on frame one. 
and hit the keyframing icon right here to enable keyframe editing. So I think by default it should insert this whole pose as the first keyframe. But just to make sure, I'm just gonna move it just a little bit and back to close to where it was at least. And so now we've got a keyframe on frame one. If we expand this, yeah, we can see upper arm left and upper arm right both have keyframes inserted. So let's come out here. Let's disable keyframing to select multiple things in the timeline. You double tap and hold, and then you just drag to select what you want to select. So double tap, hold, and just select all of them. Let's just go to frame 24 for one second. Let's go back to frame one. Turn on keyframing. I'm gonna just collapse this because that's confusing. We don't need that for this. We do actually need it, but I'm gonna collapse this folder there. That's better. So anyways, back to keyframing. Make sure that is lit up and again, keyframing is on. Go to frame. Let's do eight. Rotate it up. Rotate that one up. All right, and then 16 down. And then back to close to where the start was. You could just copy and paste the keyframes over. That's what you would do normally, but I'm being lazy. This gets the point across. And we've done a very basic arm flapping animation. It is not the best animation, but it gets the point across. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving me a, in a subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that bell. I do plan on releasing more Toon Squid videos in the future and more animations are coming. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.